about social norms and society expectations on teenagers in Hong Kong. Even now, there's a lot of pressure to be a certain way. And I wasn't very happy when I was in Hong Kong because I wanted to do art, I wanted to paint, I wanted to write stories, I wanted to travel. There were so many things that wasn't fitting in the norm. And I was lucky enough to get into the U.S. school uh, in New Mexico. I remember telling my mom, and she's like, you're going to <laughs> I always wanted to be a writer, uh, but because of so many different reasons, work and time and also self-discipline, I wasn't able to start my book yet. But public speaking is a form of writing. And I talked to HR after a few months of discussing and negotiating. They were very supportive of me starting the Toastmaster Club at Choice. Through these resource groups, I can tell that Choice, year over year, has been investing more and more in their associates, not just in their workplace, in their talents, but also what matters to them. As a woman, as a minority, as an immigrant, as an Asian, I don't feel alienated in this company. Nobody ever looked at me and say, oh, Kitty is not from America, she can't do a good job as an American, or Kitty is a woman, I would rather give this job to someone else. I never felt like my, um, my work, my talent, or opportunities were taken away from me because of who I am.